All right, so here's the big question. How would you uh, tie in these forms? How would that be possible? And, you know, you got this. You got a wireframe. And now, all these things are separated out, and I can hold Control and Shift over any of them. And there's something that I could do to take advantage of this is the fact that certain ones get grouped. So let's say I hide all these parts here. Okay, just like that. And let's group this group together. So you're going to be seeing me do a lot of this in the next video. So I'm going to group visible. And then I'm going to hide this one like that, holding Control and Shift, and group these visible. So now i got two separate groups. Now if I wanted to get in between here, I can just hide that group. And it's gone. Okay, again, I'm going to start low here, and I'm just going to hammer out something with the move tool. And we're going to think of how this would attach. And I'm going to use a thing that I call asymmetrical limb development. <laughs> I just made that up. But um, basically what it starts, what I like to do is bump up one side like that and bump up the other side like this. And you've seen when I did this with the, the just the bicep just a little bit ago. Okay. This time I'm using more of the move tool. I'm going to start moving this one into this form a little bit. And not so much because I'm going to use a standard brush for that. Okay, so it just hammers it in just a little bit. And then I want to just work out how it attaches to the body. Okay, something like that where I can get a, a bigger muscle in here maybe. Okay, and then let's go to the top where I have this now. And then I'm going to take the standard brush just like I did before. This time I laid some groundwork for it. You know what I mean? I, I, I bumped up the form at a higher or a low level before I added these bumps in here that really does help when you're trying to blend like really obscene muscles <laughs> okay so now the move tool I'm gonna stretch this one across at the upper and I'm just gonna make this one go across to down and anytime I see that this frame is getting pinched and that's why I always use a frame anytime I see that frame getting pinched I, I stop myself and say well you know what maybe I better smooth some stuff here okay now I'm going to go into the standard brush I'm going to de develop some fat in this area I'm just going to add that or make it grow in this area. I'm 
Then I'm going to take the flatten brush and start, f you know, working this form so it doesn't look so in your face. There we go. And then we connect these two forms together. And don't use that for this. Use the old, the old move tool works so much better for this. Okay, pinch brush. Pinching these two together like that. Pinching this together like that. A little pinch in there. Some pinch there. Let's take off frame. And you can see these things are just amazingly weird, but they're they're cutting in together, they're forming into another, and this might seem a little harsh right here, but it's it's beautiful in its own way. I, you know, making fake muscles. Oh, uh, let's see, standard. that forward some and a lot of this just is moving around now I'll put some kind of kneecap maybe here and again you know, I'm going to offset that kneecap. Oh, did I do a kneecap over here? No. Um, when I do a kneecap, I'm going to do do it a little offset. I'm not going to... Hey, everybody thinks, oh, yeah, let's put a kneecap right smack in the middle of things. Well, that's not really true. Look at your kneecap and tell me how how perfectly centered that is. This time I'm just building up the form. That kind of connects those two. Okay, let's look at our creature of doom here. Amazing, right? <laughs> All right, let's go to the next vi uh, the video, and we'll play around some more.